everybody! Uh, I'm Jellyfish, we're playing 80 days. Let's do this shit! Yeah! Uh, where are we? Monsieur Fog, look somewhat where he! Ah, uh, no! No! But now, I knew well that dark. That, but by now, I, I can't read. By now, I knew well the dark look in my master's eye. To the bank, he declared. Uh, I regarded the bank matter as. Why am I going to the bank? I don't want to go to the bank. Why did, did I go to the bank? I guess I did. Uh, uh, well, anyways, we are in Thessaloniki? I think we're in Thessaloniki. Yeah. In Greek. Greek land. Greece. Manager. You, uh, you, you wish to make Muldrail? That's how Greek people speak. Trust me. I'm not Greek, but, but trust me. You may have two where I a few days are. Uh, let's do uh, let's do tomorrow. Yeah, why not? We require we require seven hundred pounds. Manager scratched his cheek. I will check the office head office to make the transfer and naturally, he declared. I expect an answer by tomorrow. Return to the bank tomorrow to collect your funds. I cannot do a Greek accent. You don't even want to hear me try because it will end in tears. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Bucharest. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The Phaeton. The Phaeton. The Phaeton. Tomorrow at two. Cool. Let's do it. Phaeton. We're going. We're going north. Yes. I. That's what I wanted to do all along. That's perfect. Okay. Hotel. Let's just fucking sleep our balls off. People of the city are crazy! They go out in the evenings to tear down the remains of their city wall. I've never seen such a thing. They are unpaid laborers for their state. Granted, it is not as though the walls keep anything out. Yeah. They encircle barely half the city and are easily scalable due to the quantity of rubble piled up this side and that. I stopped a young woman and asked what they were doing. Yeah, let's, well, let's, let's, let's get involved! Come on. She only laughed in my face. You may not know our city now, she replied, not in the least bit answering my question. But soon we will encompass the entirety of northern Greece. Uh, she's really passionate about ruining that wall. I don't know why. But I remarked that it seemed unlikely. A mighty prize. A mighty prize! I agreed in earnest. What am I agreeing with? Uh, uh, mighty prize, I agreed in earnest, and she nodded wildly. How do you nod wildly? Like, <laughs> she nodded wildly before raising the sledgehammer she had brought along for the occasion. <laughs> she set about the ancient walls once more and I scared, <laughs> scared away lest I lose my hat. Lose my hat? That is a terrifying prospect, losing one's hat. Yeah, uh, fuck that. I'm not going to lose my hat. It's my most prized possession. Scurried away. Passepartout always scurrying away. Unless I lose my hat in it from a piece of flying stone. Our funds will be ready for the collection. The bank and the blue, papa. Yes, indeed. Monsieur Sean Fogg. Expl oh, we can explore. Nice. Let's explore. Let's explore this bitch. Wow, there's a lot of things. I spent a few hours in exploration, learning in ways we might try travel. Travel. All right, let's uh, go to the bank, collect our moolah. What? Do we not? Did we? Did we get our money? I didn't. Need, I didn't read that shit. Shit, we got it. No, no, no. We, 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 we're leaving. Good, good, good. Let's depart. Bucharest tomorrow. Shit. Oh, we missed it because we had to wait. And oh, it was a two hours. Fuck. Oh, it's a precious day. We missed a precious, precious day. Damn it. I might have to pay more attention. Before turning in for the night, I made certain to repack and iron everything. I spent a few hours polishing shoes. I'm going to stretch my legs. Yeah, let's, let's just stretch my legs. Uh, so I went to stretch my legs where I saw a cheerful Slavic, Slavic clerk in a dramatic discussion with a housewife. 
He's cheerful and having a dramatic discussion. I guess that's possible. From which I learned... Ah. Oh, best not to get in the way. I came away with a bloody nose. He was cheerful! So a cheerful man punched me in the face! Fuck me! Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I... I picked the right... Yeah, I did. From Thessaloniki, we hired a Phaeton to take us through the mountains. Flodden? The driver announced abruptly, abruptly, sticking out his hand. I shook it. Though it was covered in oil and engine grease. Get in! He said, jerking his thumb at the carriage. We did so, and he began the process of igniting the boiler inside the horse. That's a weird sentence. Um, is this thing safe? Is there any way to go faster? Let's fucking do this last. Is there any way to go faster? I can't flog a mechanical horse, he answered solemnly. Uh, yeah. As though giving me a piece of hard-earned wisdom. You can stoke it harder. A fair point. All right, yeah. Let's let's listen to the. Why does Fog have a fucking issue with every little thing? He's such a picky piss man. Fuck. Greetings, Mister Fog. Just just Florin. Yeah, let's talk about Bucharest. Yeah, I want to know more about Bucharest. Bucharest. I can't remember where those places are. Great. Perfect. I really need to like look around before I start having these conversations. Uh, Dubrovnik, I, I think. I doubt it. Shit. What about Novorossos? There's here's something I do know. The vineyards of Novo Novorossiysk, Novorossiysk, produce wine for the Tsar's own table. Ooh. Novorossiysk. Let's have a look. Minsk, Warsaw, Novorossiysk. Oh shit. Moscow. We need to go Minsk, Warsaw, but mm, Odessa. Shit, that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. We were the first day in relative silence, watching the forest pass us by on either side. Are these roads? Are these roads not prone to banditry? I peered into their depths. Let's ask. I asked, looking into the tree-lined depths. Not bandits, bears. And what do we do if I see a bear? I demanded. Speed up, said he, with every appearance of cheer. From the back, my master remarked, Then let us hope we she one. I could scarcely believe my ears. A jest. Yet, when I turned to look at him, his face was perfectly and utterly serious. Evening approached. We can drive on through the night, Florin said. Or may camp and continue in the morning. And drive all night. Surely camping will lose us time with the barbares. Let this camp. No, drive all night. I demanded. Very, uh, very well. The driver agreed, and we tried to sleep as the car rumbled and rocked its way onwards through the dark, gaining us a few hours and leaving any bears behind. Ah, <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Whoa. It was not a comfortable ride for any of us, I think. Eh, well, you're still smooth. You're a smooth man. I see you have hot French blood in your veins. How tired I hear some fuck off, man. Fuck right off. So you're going to Russia? Our driver asked when he woke when I awoke when I woke up to find ourselves still moving along. We are going to Istanbul, Afghanistan. And then who knows? No, we're not going to either of these. Like travelling then, do you? Uh, yes. Yes. Tiresome, was his reply. A few hours later, we crested the last rise, and the sprawling city of Bucharest lay before us. We had crossed the breadth of Europe, but there was a whole world left to travel. Indeed, good gracious, good gracious, this is rather more exhausting than I anticipated. Looks like we can complete our English wardrobe here, for protection against uncomfortable conditions. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually. That's awesome. Let's do that. Oh, we yeah, open this next day. All right, let's uh, pass the night, have a nice uh, sleep, slippy sleep. As your folks informed me, Bucharest was known rather widely, widely as Little Paris. 
He was most certainly trying to vex me with his comparison and make me feel at home. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. But my Frenchman's pride bristled a little at the comparison. Uh, don't be so prideful, passepartout, you fucking... I took a, an evening stroll from the motel through the main boulevard of Bucharest. Podul Mogoshai? Mogoshai? I don't... Is this like in Turkey? Because then an S with a thing would be like, shh. No, this is not like Turkey. This is Bucharest. Uh, I don't know. Mogo so soaye soaye. Uh, it was paved with in small cobblestones. It paid it no heed. Yeah, let's pay it heed. Let's pay it some good heed. Rather than macadam or asphalt, macadam. Never heard of that. It, but it was lined with gas lamps in uh, in the latest German style. Huh. Gentlemen and ladies paraded their stylish sprung carriages up and down the avenue. It was undeniably charming. But no Champs d'Elysées. Champs d'Elysées. Champs d'Elysées. Rivaling. Ooh. Let's, let's, you know, keep an open mind. Loath as I was to admit such a thing. Admit such a thing. At the furthest point of my walk, I passed a lamp, cunningly fashioned in the shape of a lily. Huh. This was the output of the Artificers Guild here in Bucharest. Oh, cool. Oh, let's go. But it was locked, and the lights inside were dimmed. Strange. The hour was not late, I thought. Why have my relations with Fog improved? Why? Okay. Well, why not? Let's explore. Four hours, that's fine. Yes! That's right. I took a tram to the city centre, which was modern in every sense of the word. Electric lights illuminated all but a handful of shops, fronts, and boyars residences. Uh, Bozek cars sputtered oil fumes into the air, and vendors hawked all manner of little automata on street corners. I saw uh, the lamp of the lily once more. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's inquire. Let's be inquisitive. We immediately began to cough from the dust in the air. I looked at the dark-haired woman. Yeah, let's look at the woman. Behind the dark, behind the far counter. She seemed startled by my appearance, but narrowed her eyes in suspicion. Kuke sava ahut. I flashed a charming smile. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, pass back to you, sly dog. A gesture beyond language. She gave me an unimpressed look. Oh, you're f uh, oh, 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 you're French, she said rep repressively, sw switching effortlessly into my mother tongue. I bowed and introduced myself. She gave me her uh, her name only as Steinberg, omitting her, her proper title, which placed me in rather uh, in rather an awkward position. Madame Steinberg. Oh shit! Which one is it? Mademoiselle. I can't remember which one is which. Shit. One is like when they're married, and one's not married, and one's like polite. I don't know. You know, it's like Miss, Mrs. and Ms. Mrs. Ms. and Miss. Yeah. Uh, let's go with Madame. I hazarded. Just Steinberg. She corrected sternly. Now, what do you want here? The pleasure of your company. Oh, yes. Let's do this. She crossed her arms in clear irritation. I do not flirt, monsieur. Steinberg informed me. This is an artificer's guild outpost, not a coming out ball. It's not much of an outpost. Would you flirt at a ball? Ha ha! Would you flirt at the ball? Ah. <laughs> Steinberg. Not with you, she retorted. Now state your business or leave. Uh, I looked around at the empty shop. Because you are so busy? The guild is the guild is not very popular at the moment. She allowed, shrugging. Independence in the current fashion is the current fashion. The guild is too Ottoman for our new empire for our new prince. Also, Steinberg gave me a look of frank challenge. The guild openly hires Jews. A Jew can also be a Roman Romanian citizen. The guild allows it follows its own laws. I I showed her the scarab. Yes. Perhaps. Perhaps uh, the guild makes enemies in other ways, I suggested. Ha ha ha! Yeah! Mmm. That! Saw a hint of a smile play across her. Ah, we're cracking the surface! Oh! <laughs> that is a mere trifle, she said. It is not a weapon. It is a tweak on the nose. And she demonstrated on my own dear nose. Ah. It's getting. It's getting hot in here, Passepartout and Steinberg. 
Uh, I returned the gesture. <laughs> oh my god. And she laughed out loud. You French! She exclaimed. You are too frivolous. Did you learn nothing from your war with the Prussians? <laughs> oh, I browsed the guild wares. Yeah, I was browsing the guild wares for a good half hour. Found little of value or interest beyond a single dusty medallion in my pocket. Ask Steinberg. Yeah, she's she likes us. And she stared at me blankly. You don't recognize an artificer's medallion? Where have you been living? Um... Well, I'm not going to say that, Jesus. Uh, uh, let's go to Paris. I replied, and she could not help but add. And couldn't help but I slightly get it. Why would he say that? You fucking idiot, Passepartout. I said Paris, not... You don't have to add a slightly grander city than this little one of yours. What a fucking arrogant ass. Paris, uh, uh, Paris, a slightly grander city than this little one of yours, uh, you shit. What a bastard. That pisses me off. I don't like you now. Passepartout. So, you are travelling. I envy you that. We are going... We are going around the world. You can have it. What? What? You can have it. You can have what? What am I? What can I give it? What can I give her? I have no idea. I need to know. I. This is weird, but. You can have it. I answered suddenly. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> as fast as possible, too. That is the only good thing. She nodded, then pointed to something at the back of a dusty shelf. There, that bag. Take it. Take it. <laughs> what, do, what does it contain, madame? I asked. On, on the side of the bag was inked a tall column-like flame. It is a preparation of paraffin and crystalline oxygen. Will you be travelling by rosier balloon? What is a rosier balloon? Uh, she shook her head with some amusement. Fuck, this voice is hurting my throat. A kind of hot air balloon invented by Rosia. She pointed at the bag. Throw this into the burner. If you do, you'll find the extra elevation will lead to considerable extra speed. They took the bag and the medallion. Let's take both. Artificers nodded. Then I took my leave of Steinberg and wished her well. With sincerity. With sincerity. With sincerity, yeah. She's nice. 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 A most extraordinary person. I walked back to Monsieur Fogg. Oh, I'm manicured now. Cool. The medallion should fetch a good price in Karachi. Should we try to sell it? Where the bloody hell is Karachi? Doesn't matter, we're going into the fucking tundra. We're gonna live like animals. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat flesh. We're gonna like, eat flesh, fog! We gotta eat to eat f I don't even know what accent I'm doing anymore. We are going to eat flesh, fog! Fig. Fig. Alright, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can, uh. What? Oh, we can finish our English and wardrobes out. I thought I don't want to finish that. I want I want the um can I sell this shit? I don't want this anymore. Good. Driving goggles. Part of dusty roads and just a candle. Wool shirts, pressure gauge. Oh. Huh. That sounds pretty useful actually. European shipping timetable? Yeah, we need this. Because we are now well, I mean, I don't know if that includes Russia, but who knows, it could. It could. Dusty Road. What is this? Oh yeah, in Karachi, right. And this, Antalya. Antalya and Karachi. Antalya, Karachi, Moscow. Those three. Antalya, Karachi, Moscow. Antalya, Karachi. Um, what's this? Oh no, no, we sold that. Uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's get this. And nah, we don't need this. Mm, nah. Oops. Wait, what, what's going on? What? Oh, is that the... Yeah, it looks like that's what that was. Can I... Oh, we have to go to Odessa. Tomorrow at 1. Okay, we're not gonna miss this. Oh, wait, Antalya. 
let's check that again. Let's check our. I already forgot. Uh, Antalya Karaji. Right, okay. So, plan. Antalya was. Oh, Antalya's in. Of course. Karachi? No idea where Karachi is. Never even heard of that place. Sorry to say. Bakumat Albers, Baghdad. Karachi? Karachi. Karachi. Where is Karachi? We want to find Karachi. Karachi wants to find us. Hotel. Let's just sleep. Take a room and settle in. I've heard of my master every service. I want to explore a little. Uh, yeah, let's explore a little. I managed to have my pocket picked to the tune of twenty pounds, twenty-two pounds. Shit. In roaring health, despite your efforts. Fuck off, Pashpatu. <laughs> That's basically what he's always thinking. He's always just saying like, "Fuck off, Pashpatu. You're like, I don't care about you." This would be a bothersome experience for traveling cloak. Oh yeah, by train we can actually carry a lot of stuff. The was uh, was on the main line of the Orient, Orient Express, but its station saw numerous other services go in and out. So many so that I could not work out which one went to Odessa. But with the little standing around and tipping my hat, no, we're not going to choose at random. Are you fucking crazy? I made the acquaintance of the station master, an old goat whose accent was most almost incomprehensibly thick. Ah, oh, this is. Right up my alley. <laughs> He's partial to a tipple. What's a tipple? Is that a drink? So, yes! Knew it. So I poured out a little vodka and compared notes about the complexities of running a freight interchange versus shaving and preparing shirts for a particular gentleman. Would you imagine? We found much in common. So tell me, I hazarded. Uh, which of these trains is banned to Odessa? He pointed uh, to one with an anchor painted on its side. The that one is one. The train to Minsk. That's higher order to spot. And he pointed to another beside it. We boarded the one painted with an anchor with a steel fish. Wait, 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 wait. Minsk. Wait. We can go to Minsk directly? Do to Minsk? This is a Anchor! Yes! No, wait, 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 I need to read. Point at the one with the anchor pin outside. Though that's an easy one, the train to Minsk, that's harder to spot, and he pointed to another beside it. So the anchor. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't know why I, I just... My brain just kind of melted for a second there. I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, steel fish. So steel fish is Minsk. Good. We're bound for Minsk. Man, this is great. I explained the change of destination to my master. I can see... Uh, of course I'm going to explain it. But he seemed untroubled. Monsieur Fogg merely opened his pocketbook, drew a single stroke across his last line, and began a new page. All right. He's pragmatic. That's good. Minsk. Yes! Perfect! Holy crap, that's good. Alright, Fog, let's, uh, a cigar. Excellent! A cigar! Excellent! 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 Blah, 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 blah. I cannot. I can't. It's, I think my Sean Fog is getting worse all the time. That's, that's the crazy part. Here's something I do know. The Tsar has formed his own secret police, I hear. Oof. Uh, yeah, K Kateringburg, that's weird. My uncle worked at Kateringburg just before the Trans-Siberian Express to Irkutsk stuff to fire. Shit. Uh, what's this? Vodka. Use the vodka. Thank you. Moscow! Ah, oh, we... Did you know Tsaritsyn? Tsaritsyn? Uh, can be reached from Moscow aboard the freight train. I did not. Where is Tsaritsyn? I knew a woman who was on holiday in Tsaritsyn long before the freight train to Moscow went missing. Tsaritsyn, Mount Elbrus? What? What is Selman? 
I don't know where this place is. On the subject of trains, I've heard St. Petersburg can be reached from Minsk uh, aboard the St. Petersburg Express. The journey is a tiring one. Like, I guess we can ask loads of information from this guy. Enough talking. Ah, shit. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's Tsaritsyn. We don't really want to go there. We want to go just straight, straight across, straight across uh, the snowy tundra. Uh, Siberia. Uh, we woke. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Shit. We woke to find we had still not yet arrived. Low hills rolled past, and the trees outside the windows changed to thick pine forest, clambering up and down over rocky slopes, uh, which the train itself blasted straight through. We passed a border most marking the edge of the Russian land, of Russian land, but we still rolled on. Well now, this journey is proving more draining than expected. Um, right, we're in Minsk! Fucking did it! We're in Minsk! Holy shit! Ah! Minsk and Boo the Hamster. you get that reference yeah all right Wh what are we doing what are we doing uh can we start as far as you please yes please okay wh what do we what have we got we got oh, we got loads of stuff holy crap we need the gentleman traveler set that's what we need and we also need the cold weather thing let's see no, uh, let's go in to minsk and let's go to the hotel Patch the night here, yes. Very cold newspaper man offered me a sip of Turkish coffee at a tram stop in Minsk. My grandfather was French, he said blandly. And we are compatriots. Then we are compatriots. I toasted him with my ceramic tumbler. I don't think so. He spat onto the ground vehement vehemently. I think I vehemently or vehemently vehemently I don't know uh, I did not I did not know him he was one of Napoleon's soldiers Minsk was occupied by the grand army during the invasion he did not speak in a particularly accusative tone but any words I tried to say in reply coagulated at the back of my throat ah I managed to choke out I am sorry um Let's let's apologize. Sorry, he returned to me and smiled with half his mouth. What are you sorry for? You did nothing. He gestured with his cup. You are traveling. You are traveling. Oh no! You, you <laughs> he asks, "Are you are traveling?" Uh, we head here to Moscow, I think. We, who knows where, I'm going, where we are going next? Um, should we tell this guy? Uh, I think we shouldn't tell him. I replied with a shrug. You know, I see. Well, he drained down his coffee cup. If I were traveling, if I were traveling, I know where I would choose to go. I don't know why my accent just changed all of a sudden. And what is that? <laughs> Whoa. Tehran. He replied to my surprise. Beautiful place, I'm sure. An unusual choice. Yeah. He laughed bitterly and tapped the newspaper under his arm. When I was younger, I grew a new woman called Lena Palkala, a Finnish girl. She became a dancer. <laughs> dancer? Oh yes, the, the Finnish dancer. Now she passes herself off as Slavic and has just been signed uh, up to dance exclusively in Tehran. I am sure she will never see her again. I will never see her again, but if I could, I would try. Oh, so he's gonna go to Tehran to meet a Finnish Slavic dancer lady. Yeah, let's tell this guy. I would never find her. Lena Palkala is gone. Palkala. Lena Palkala. Lena Palkala is gone. Her name is now Mari Marina Poltavka. Our tram wheezed into the stop, and the conductor opened the doors. The newspaper man boarded. Enjoy your coffee, he added, without looking in my direction. I decided to wait for the next tram. 
boarded with him. Hmm. I think I should board with him. I like this guy. This seems interesting. And he cracked a rare smile. Perhaps I had lightened his day a little after all. Yay! That's nice. That is nice. Alright. Moscow? When can we go? In three days. Hmm. I think we can, uh, we can probably find out a lot of stuff here. I think it's good. But we're going to do that next episode. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.